Hey kids, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wild animal specialist. As you know on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only Kaya the Koala. Hello all and welcome to the Bear Show! Hosted by your favorite bear of all time, me, Kaya the Koala Bear. The Bear Show. You know, every once in a while we should just talk about bears in honor of me, the coolest bear. I thought we would make this episode a bear episode. You do realize that you're not actually a bear, right? It's just in your name, you're a marsupial. Ah yes, that might be true. Well, I still stand behind making this episode about a bear. And because I'm so nice, I will let you choose which bear. Well, that is generous of you, Kaya. All right, try and guess. Of course, it's a kind of bear. They live in extremely cold habitat and their name starts with the letter P. Ah, yes. My brother, the polar bear. Yes, the polar Hello. bear. Okay, I know polar bears are from the Arctic, but where exactly is the Arctic? Very good. Polar bears live along the shores and on the sea ice in the freezing cold Arctic. The Arctic is at the very north or top of the world. The Arctic regions are some of the least populated areas on Earth, but polar bears live there. Tell us a fun fact about polar bears. Here's a fun fact. You might think the polar bear is just a mammal, like us, but polar bears are actually considered marine mammals, like seals, whales, and dolphins. Even though the polar bear is related to the brown bear, they spend most of their lives on the sea ice of the Arctic Oceans, depending on the sea for food and habitat. Polar bears are the only bear species in the world to be considered a marine mammal. Ah, yes, and if I'm remembering correctly, mammals all have a few things in common. They all give live birth, give milk to their babies, breathe oxygen, and have fur or hair. Great memory, Kaya. What can I say? I'm a genius. Okay, more fun facts. All right, here's another fun fact. Polar bears are known as the giants of the Arctic. Male polar bears can weigh around 1,700 pounds. That's as much as 10 full-grown human men. The males are twice the size as the female polar bears. This, in addition to the fact that they can measure up to 10 feet long, makes the polar bear the largest land carnivore in the world. Wait, what about elephants, rhinos, and gorillas? They're huge! Remember, Carnivore means they eat only meat. Elephants, rhinos, and gorillas are herbivores. They are huge and they get huge muscles from plant power. Very interesting. So what do polar bears eat? Polar bears primarily eat seals. They have great sense of smell. Polar bears can smell a seal almost a mile away, even if the seal is under the snow. They often rest silently for hours at the seal's breathing hole in the ice, waiting for a seal in the water to surface. Once the seal comes up for air, the bear will spring and sink its jagged teeth into the seal's head. Polar bears have special liver in their bodies that allow them to process all the seal fat they eat. Polar bears will also sometimes eat huge walruses and beached whales. If stranded on the land, they will eat vegetation, geese, birds, eggs, and occasionally caribou. If food is hard to find, they can actually survive for seven to 10 days without food. Tell us about polar bear babies. All right, female polar bears usually have two to three babies, also called cubs. Polar bears don't hibernate, meaning sleeping during the winter months, but mother polar bears do find and live in dens or ice caves to have and raise their cubs. 
Polar bear moms have one of the longest fasting periods in the animal kingdom. That means they don't eat or drink while they're nursing or giving their cubs their milk in their den. Once the cubs are strong enough to withstand the cold of the Arctic outside of the den, the family will head out to the sea ice and hunt for seals right away because mama is hungry. By then, she's gone about eight months without a meal. Cubs stay with their mother for over two years, learning as much as possible, including how to navigate the sea ice, when and where to migrate, and how to hunt seals, and how to avoid danger, and how to use their innate curiosity to learn new things. Seal cubs listen very, very well to their mothers. Sometimes they even copy every one of mom's movements exactly. That is too cute. Tell us another fun fact about polar bears. Despite what we think, a polar bear's fur is not white. Each hair is a clear, hollow tube. Polar bears look white because each hollow hair tube reflects light underneath the fur. The polar bear's skin is actually black. The black skin soaks up the sun's heat and helps them stay warm. Polar bears also have four inch layer of fat underneath their skin. This prevents them from losing any of their heat. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, one last fun fact. All right, polar bears are excellent swimmers. They can swim constantly for days at a time. Polar bears have wide front paws with slightly webbed toes that help them swim. They paddle with their front feet and steer with their back feet. Their Latin name actually means sea bear. And what can we do to help these amazing animals? The biggest threat to polar bears is shrinking ice. Climate change is causing the sea ice to melt earlier and forming later each year which means that polar bears have less time to hunt on top of the sea ice. The polar bears rely on the sea ice as a platform to hunt sea prey, like seals that come into the ice. Many bears might not be able to build up the fat that they need to survive the rest of the year. There are things we can all do right now to help reduce climate change and help polar bears and other endangered species. Big cause of climate change is the emissions of polluting gases from burning fossil fuels like coal and oil. Fossil fuels are burned when we use electricity or drive our cars, among other things. So one thing we can do to reduce global warming is use our car less. Try walking around more or riding your bike. Another thing you can do is ask your parents to use energy efficient light bulbs. Another thing you can do is recycle more. Ask your family to make a recycling bin at your home. You can all do it together. And of course, the best and number one way to help reduce polluting our planet is to eat less or no meat. You and your family can have meatless Mondays. Remember, it's up to us, the future generation, to make sure that these polar bears have a place to live. Let's all work together and make sure that animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now, it's question time. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false, polar bears are the largest land carnivores on Earth. Answer is true. Polar bears eat mostly meat and are huge. They can weigh as much as 10 full-grown human men. Where are polar bears from? Is it A, Australia, B, Asia, C, the Arctic, or D, South America? The correct answer is C. Polar bears are from the freezing cold Arctic all the way at the top of the globe. What is a baby polar bear called? Is it A, a cub, B, a larva, C, a pup, or D, a hatchling? The correct answer is A, a cub. You guys did great. 
Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Bye all! Bye. Thanks for stopping by! See you next week! Bye bye! Bye!